We're out to find broken, useless websites and give them a purpose to grow your business. Hello, this is David, and welcome back to the second episode of A Good Place to Eat web design series. In this episode, we are going to go back through the design that we created in the first episode, and we're going to start making adjustments both to the text uh, and also images and design elements. And then we want to make sure that we're going to check our mobile view uh, towards the end so to make sure that this is going to be mobile compatible. So let's get started. Uh, in this very first section, I noticed that the uh, that the image in the background was a little blurry, so I went back and processed a higher res image to be used in here. I didn't know that I was going to use this image in this spot, so we need to go back and replace that and make sure we've got a higher quality image. So we're already in edit mode. Uh, I'm going to click on the gear for the module, and we're just going to go replace this image. Scrolling down, we're going to click on background, and then... Oh, and this may be placed in, not in the module, but in the section. So we'll go to the purple section, go to the gear, content, background, and then the image tab. Uh, and there we can see our image there. So we're going to click on the gear that's over top of the image. And I believe we already have this uploaded. So this one is 1152 pixels wide. So this is a much larger image. We probably could even save a lot on size if we crop this down to just half because we're really only using the top half of the image. But, but we're going to go ahead and replace that here so that we can see what a quality image looks like in here. And that looks better already. So we're going to save that. Uh, then we have another note to we want to change the text on our button instead of schedule meals. We want this to say schedule schedule private dining. So we'll click on the gear and then we'll go to the button one and we can paste in the new text schedule private dining. That's much better. So while we're at it and we have this text on our clipboard, we're gonna scroll on down and this one is actually a global item. So we'll change this one as well because it's lime green. We know it's global. I click on the gear and then the button text is right here. I'll paste that in, schedule private dining and that will make it consistent through the page. We don't want one button to say something different than the other one. And I'm going to check the other ones right quick. Schedule private dining. That was a global, so it updated. And schedule private dining. This one updated as well. And we could probably use another button here after the after this call to action, plan your meals. We could probably put another one in here. So let's go ahead and do that while we're at it. So we'll do a regular section, single column, and then add from library schedule meals button and we'll just leave that underneath here um, so that uh, it keeps our columns looking straight so now to make this section here the FAQ stand out a little bit more we can go to well it looks like it's it goes white because the testimonial section is not here it's hidden um, and then it goes into the bottom so we're gonna leave that the, the background color as it is okay so let's go back to this top here we've updated our button and so let's save as we go today I click the uh, triple dot in the middle and then the green save button okay so we're looking for we've got our first couple of changes already completed And I believe we have some edits to the copy here, according to our copywriter, Michelle. So thank you, thank you, Michelle, for getting those to us. So we're going to paste in the new text or the edited text for this section here.
that updates that text there. I don't have any design changes for this particular section. Uh, it looks like it's kind of boxed out as is. It's pretty lined up. Uh, this section here is, I, I do feel like I want to give it a little more space. So I want to make it a little bit bigger. I'd like to see that table, but our button is kind of over top of it. So I'd have to really expand that out. Uh, let's lock this section here. And then we'll bring that, bring it back together so that it stays centered. And I just want a good amount of room around that. And I may even want to, I'll leave this text size alone. I feel like it should be a little bit bigger or maybe even styled. See in the previous section we used an H2. So we, it looks like this is already set to an H3. So in the text editor, we can see this class tag but if we remove that, we can go back to visual. We can see it here. We can go to design, heading H3. Now, if we wanted to change that to the other font, the Abril font, that looks pretty bold. Actually, I believe that's better. We're going to save that. Okay, here in the next section, um, so he does cuisine, but you know, if people want hot dogs, he said he would cook them, but I don't believe we want to show that on the page here. It doesn't really communicate the message of what we're trying to get to as a private chef. Um, so we're going to replace this image with a cropped version. We've already got it cropped, so we just go to our library and then we can click upload image and then the green check mark to save. And that's a much better close-up picture too. Uh, and then I believe we have a note that we want to add. So he is a kind of your private chef. So we want to add that here, private chef John. Um, and this is written in first tense. So I want to put this in quotations, quotation marks as well and then it was mentioned that we have an inconsistency here with our number of years so that says 30 and this says 20 so I'm going to change this one to 30 okay so we've got that little update done and there's another inconsistency here. We use the number two. I want to spell it out in the text area. All right, there we go. So we've got those adjustments made. save what we have so far make plan your mills bigger Okay, in this section here that's dark, we want to add a subtext because it's kind of a call out section. So we're going to come over and add some text here. And then we're going to make that a, uh, at least a heading three size. And we will set that to our designated font. It needs to be a little bit larger. 
There we go. Brings a little bit more life to that section there. Uh, may even want to adjust the line height heading text H3. And then we can adjust the line height heading 3 line height. And give that a little bit more breathing room. We were working on our buttons a minute ago, but we still haven't linked them to our form, so we're going to do that now. Uh, hovering over the module, I'll click on gear, and then click on link. And I can put the link URL in there, and then save. Uh, that'll update all of our global ones, but we still need to go back and update the one on our header. because it's, uh, it's a separate module, it's not part of the header. So we'll click on the gear. Uh, this is button one, go to link. In the button one link URL, we can paste our link in and save. So that should link up all the buttons. That's the sound of my son driving his old car out of the, up the driveway. <laughs> All right, this is already looking a lot better. A little cleaner, a little crisper. A little more styled. Uh, there's some little text edits um, for us to do here. We're going to change the word like to include, including. Then there's also a note here. Uh, job prepares cultural cuisine the way it was meant to be. In both authentic, authentic taste and technique. All right. So. So a little copy changes. Okay, in this section here, we want to change the this main header here, and we want it to say private dining. And then here, instead of Instead of tell me what you like, I'm going to change that to select your preferences. And I will personalize the menu for you. This text is also kind of small, so let's bump that up in size. So we go to design, text. We'll go to at least a 22 here. We may even want to bold it. Okay. Looks like our background image is creeping a little bit on that text. It looks like it's a light gray color, so let's check and make sure the color is okay. Design, text, text color. 
Now let's make it black. And then we'll check in the section, the regular section, click on the gear, background. Let's check our starting point for the gradient. We can move that over just a little bit and move our endpoint over just a little bit more so that it kind of ends after that second column. Just trying to make sure we can read, personalize a menu just for you. Just make sure we can read that text very well. Okay, plan private dining. Okay, we've got that done. Change the subtext. Select your preferences and coordinate so it looks like there's a one more edit in that on that text so we'll make that change as well uh, on the module click on the gear and the paragraph text we'll just paste that other text in and we're going to go back and make it bold or actually it looks like it already is so sometimes when you paste in if you do it in the visual editor it doesn't apply or it, it copies styles with it so if you go over to text and you see a span tag and a style equals, you can go in and just delete that and delete the ending span. And that way that'll get the text back to its controlled format, which, which, which you've set in the design controls instead of being localized. Okay, so we've got that update change as well. And that brings us down. The FAQs I think are fine. And that brings us to the footer. I, I like this texture of this image, but I don't feel like it really communicates as, as good as it should. So I'm gonna swap this out for maybe some fresh vegetables. Uh, I've got a new image for that. So on the section, I'm gonna click on the gear, go to background, image tab, and let's find our new image of vegetables. And this was a free, free image here. Um, so I'm not sure really the yellow helps us a whole lot now, so we may have to change up the color as well um, The white is good on top um, So I'm not sure if we go with a gray That might work Or even just a white so it's just a transparency with no color and that brings it in very well actually uh, so now the top we've probably locked this no it's actually unlocked so I kinda feel like if we could put this text higher up on the image we could allow for more of the more room on the bottom and then this text here we're, we're good for the tagline is, is kinda small and and not visible so I'm gonna check and make sure there's no styles applied so I go to the text tab yeah and I see I've got a div here with a wrapper so I'm gonna delete that extra local styling or inline style as it's technically called okay so then I can go to my dot design tab text and I can make this much larger I'm gonna change it to a bold and make it black and we're gonna bump the size to 22. So I think I've been pretty consistent with making that a 22 size text. All right, um, that's definitely jumping out more. Uh, this actually, this larger font size, we could go with a little bit of a gray uh, to tone it down a little bit. Uh, but the, so the rule is the, the smaller the text, the closer to black you wanna be. That just keeps it readable. And that's just kind of an easy rule of thumb. So this has gotten, we've made quite a few little changes through this today, um, and it's it's definitely starting to look better. Um, we could use some professional images, but we're gonna have to just use what we got. I really like this change at the bottom with the fresh vegetables. That definitely adds more value to, to the website.
Okay, so what I would like to do is go into the the theme customizer and actually set our fonts and come back and reset this and that way we can if we add when we add new pages we'll be set up to do that properly so under the design I just want to check and make sure which font we're using so on the title text we're using this Averil fat face and I'm just making a note on the other screen here that that's the font we're going to use and then also I want to set the styles of our buttons in the theme customizer so that when we build other pages we can adjust the the buttons um, globally so I'm gonna save this now and we're gonna exit the visual builder and then we're gonna go into the theme customizer and make some global changes So the two changes we, we definitely want to make in the theme customer customizer at this point is the, the font, uh, our typeface font, and our, our button. So the, the font, the heading fonts, we can go into general settings, typography, and here we can see the header font is listed here. So if we change the theme font to the uh, the Abril fat face here, then anytime we apply a heading tag, then it'll use this font. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, the body font size, we I think we changed most of that to 16. Um, so I'm gonna make that adjustment here as well. And I believe we had to adjust the line height to 1.8. So I'm gonna make those global changes here and then I can set the page actually back to default and then everybody everything will be applied um, you know exactly alike so I will publish this but I won't exit out yet because I'm gonna use the back arrow and go back to the navigation and now we want to go to our buttons I I like this button style color um, although I don't not sure what color that is I didn't get that documented so let me grab that color And I'm going to right click and inspect and I see the orange color is right here in the inspector it's FF694A I'll copy that to the clipboard I can close out the inspector okay so the text color is white and then the background color is going to be the orange and I'll just paste that in there um, I don't believe we want any border color so border radius, I actually want to make increase the border radius. Now we won't be able to see our changes because we didn't change the button to the default. So uh, I know this is an all uppercase, so we can use that. So we'll actually have to go back and check that. So we're going to publish this and exit out, and we'll have to double check our notes on that one. Okay, so now we're back in the visual builder for the page, and I know this seems like extra work, uh, but if we decide that we want to use a different font later on after he gets a logo or something, then it'll make it really easy to do then, um, because we will have forgotten why it's not changing. <laughs> so under the title text, uh, we're going to go back and change this to the default because we just programmed the default and looks like the font didn't change which is exactly what we want and then also in the the button one uh, we want to turn off the use custom styles for button one we're going to turn it off so now we can see the what was there before now if I toggle it back on I can see which font was being used there's the orange color uh, it's using a font called cabin um, so we can go back into the theme customizer and set that 
so it's a cabin true type and I don't believe there's any border Okay, so let's toggle that back off. So design, button one, toggle that off, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna make a note that that font was cabin. Now on this text section here, this should be a heading two, and it is, so Heading to, we can change that to a default. Okay, and save. So on each one of these sections, we want to make sure that the the font assigned is default. little SEO tip for you when you're doing these headings you want to just go up one and down one on the number so you go from a um, an h2 to an h3 so h1 h2 h3 back to h2 back to h3 and that um, keeps your SEO in line and is acceptable by accessibilities um, all right, so there's that one. We probably just have a couple more to do. So this is an H2. I think these are even, so these were probably set to H3s, which we wanna to change to an H2. And we can do a shortcut here. We can copy the module style, but it's not going to help us because we actually want to change this from a three to a two. We'll have to manually do each one. So it's not something you can you can copy. Okay, so all of those are H2s. And still got our font on our button. We wanted to change the design of the button to uh, default. Okay, so this is already set to an H2, design, heading text, we set that to default. On our accordion, we're looking for the the title text, um, it's an H3, which is correct, and it's already set to default, which is great. So that's already done. And then on this section, for the footer, call to action, this is an H2 design. And we'll change that one to default. Now our button was global, so it's already updated that one. So that should be all of our button and font globalization changes. But I don't like the white border on there, so what we need to do is go change the border width um, so it looks more like it was before. So I liked it being a solid color before, but I don't like the, um, but I wanted to make the, the font a little bolder and also the corners a little more round. Are you frustrated with trying to write content for your website, learn the web design software, and overcome all the technology challenges? to get the website launched? We understand what it's like to spend hours writing, designing, and launching a website. Don't waste your time and money on something that you don't enjoy. We can easily walk you through an affordable process of creating a web design with a purpose. You will be stress-free and feel like a successful business person. All you have to do to get started is visit shepherdsloft.com and book a free web design with a purpose appointment. Okay, so now in the theme customizer, we can go back to our button controls, which I was believe is right here under buttons. And then we go to button styles. 
and we want to get rid of the border width so we can move that to zero um, the rounded corners actually looks pretty good it's set to eight uh, we can make it a little bit more you know there's a 14 13 so that looks really good so now it really looks like a button however when we hover over it it goes to a light gray it turns invisible so we want to go back in our theme customized settings and go to buttons hover style and the text I believe we will keep white and then the background color and we're just going to set that to black and change the transparency to full so when we hover over it it gets bolder not lighter so again the looks like the the border and the the rounded corners are staying the same which is great um, and then one last thing is we wanted to change this to the cabin side cabin font so under buttons fonts we go down to cabin so just keeping some of the original design now that font is a, definitely a lot smaller so I wanted it to be a little bigger and bolder but it doesn't look like this cabin font is really working for us so <laughs> there's a font called Caesar dressing um, no not a real fan of that I think I just want this to be a really simple font so I'm gonna go back to the theme font I like that better but I'm gonna bold it I just want it to be plain big and bold so there we go um, because all the branding comes through on the on the heading fonts, I don't really need something here. So I'm going to publish that. And I think that's all the theme customizer adjustments I wanted to make. Uh, is just the the button and the headings. That way, if we build any new pages, everything will be consistent, and we won't have to go back and figure anything out. Okay. Now I still this this text here is is getting a little bit lost, so it'd be nice if we had a little bit of glow or shadow behind that. So I'm going to go back and make one more little final adjustment there. Okay, so on this module here, I'm going to come over and we just want to separate the word "eat" from the uh, black muscle that is sitting on. Uh, if we'd have rotated the image, we we might not have had that muscle like right behind the text. Um, but let's see what we could do. We may even be able to adjust the space up and down as well. So I'm going to go to design and then go to title text and this is an H1 and then I know we've got a drop shadow here uh, but we want to change that to white. You know, a lot of times uh, less is more in this case uh, we can increase the, the shadow and that would kind of take it back a notch. Uh, we can also click on the dropper and bring down the transparency a little bit that'll make it a little more subtle um, the shadow seems to be a little too blurry and there's also an offset here that we can adjust so that it's a little tighter more subtle just real subtle and tight so that makes sure that this is this is readable so I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a little bit more opacity. You know, there's 85%. It's kind of subtle, but it still makes that keeps that word from getting lost. And also, this is kind of really cramped together here, so this text uh, could use a little bit more line height. So we're gonna go to design, uh, and then it's under, gonna be under body text. I believe we can adjust the body line here. I'm going to give it quite a bit. Just kind of separate it out. And I can click the check mark to save. And then as we mentioned, we can we can close this up. I don't know if we want to come up that far. I kind of like the pictures and the muscles and I kind of like it filling the screen. So I think I'm going to just leave it there and save that.
Now for the last step here, we've made a lot of content changes, uh, swapped out, edited some text, we swapped out some images, and you know just to kind of communicate better. And then so the last step really is we want to go through both the tablet and the mobile, but the mobile is really more important because we want to make sure things are not overlapping. I know there's one specific section where we made some adjustments to the spacing. Uh, spacing adjustments are always bad. They always mess up on different platforms. Um, so I really don't like doing those kind of adjustments uh, because I know the consequences, but I can also know that I can go and check and change those. So we're gonna click on the, on the bottom left, we're gonna click on the phone view and just go through what this looks like. And you can see that the text is definitely getting lost with the mobile image here. Um, and the text turned gray here, which is kind of interesting, and that's kind of getting lost. Um, so I don't feel like the background image is really helping us on the mobile at all. So can we make, and then also this is, uh, to be consistent, this should say two and not the number two. So we'll go into the gear, we'll go to design, and so for the body text, we want to make sure this is this is black. You can see it's hard to see. Let's go to the content and look at the background and see if there's some background image adjustments we can make. There is a mobile version, so we can click the mobile so that we are only adjusting the mobile. If we had a smaller version of the muscles here, we can use this smaller image for the mobile. Okay, we're going to save that and then we're going to go into the actual module settings and see what it would look like if we reverse the text color. So in our title text, it's the H1. Uh, let's see, is, where's our mobile? I don't see a mobile setting. So We can adjust the size and letter spacing and the shadow. Oh, here it is, title text shadow. Well, that's the shadow color. So what we need to do is figure out, we, we like the picture, but we gotta figure out how to get this, this text above or below the. So if we, let's try moving things around. If we change the, I think we've got it locked. I'm gonna unlock that and see if I can get the text closer to the top. And then on the text, we need some, we need to drop shadow on it to text color. Oh, here's a mobile version. So let's see if we can change. Oh, here it is, it's dark. There's our light version there. Okay, so we're under design, text. 
and then no shadow Uh, here's our mobile. It's all actually on the very specific one, body text color. So we made that white. So I'll just have to keep making small adjustments till we get there. So title text alignment, so we've got mobile control here where we can center that. I'm gonna make it actually a little bit bigger and then I'd like to remove the drop shadow on the, for the mobile. or actually just change it to black for mobile. Okay, here's our title tag shadow color for mobile. If I make that black, then it pops out. The body text, let's, let's see if we can center that as well. Okay, here's the mobile version. On the mobile tab, we can center that text. And then here's the body text. So that's got a shadow. And then on the mobile for the text shadow, mobile tab, make sure that that's black and it's all centered. So the only thing that's not is our button. But we would have to control that on our Alright, that's um, pretty bold and I like the brightness of the food. Hopefully it's still readable after checking on an actual mobile phone. Let's see what our other sections look like. Uh, so we've got our image stacked over here of our text. Um, this is very readable. The button it actually looks really good on that section. This image is square. So here's where the, our spacing is a little off. So we want to make sure that this text area and spacing is corrected for the mobile. I usually try to start with the margin first because it just has a little bit better control of what's going on and I'm just going to adjust it slowly until it kind of lines up with the picture on top and I've got it locked so that the, the two sides are equal okay and then this section here you can see it's it's pretty far off so we'll save this one and this is actually coming from the row, looks like. It looks like it's using it looks like it's using a different size as well. I can tell the font sizes are different. So let's check our module settings for the text. Design text set to default. So we're checking the text size on these these boxes here. And this is looks like a different size. So it should be default 22. Uh, this is actually a little too much. 
change that back to 1.8, I think. Well, no, it's not quite. Pump it to 1.9. And then let's check this box underneath. Design, text. Set to 22. There we go. This all looks pretty good. And our FAQs line up nicely. And then our call to action at the bottom. That came out really well. Okay, we're gonna save this. And then we'll go back and double check the desktop just to ensure that we didn't accidentally change something that we didn't want to. So back to the top. Um, that still looks good. Uh, so this section here actually moved on the desktop. So let's go into the row settings, design, there's spacing. So here we go. So there's the, the mobile version. If we click that, we get the tabs. We want the mobile to stay where it was, which is this, this row here. So if we go back to the desktop version, we want to move the, the row over. So the left side, we want to go up. I'll just bump that over. Okay, now that looks good. Save that. Okay, so one more section. So now let's check our tablet. Hopefully, there's not any adjustments to make there. This still looks good. Okay, so this section needs a little bit of adjustment on the on the tablet. So I click on the gear. I'm going to go to design, spacing. Make sure we're on the tablet view. So on the right side, we're going to bump this over to the picture. Start with 30. There's 60 is pretty close. And then I can just tweak it over. That looks good. And then on the next section, so it looks like this is in the row. So we'll go to the row settings, design, spacing, and we're on the tablet. Jump down, down 30. There's 60. That's pretty close. I think the other one was at close to 70. There we go. So now that's more readable there. Looks like this text could go, if this text was above the image, I think it would be, would be better. We'll go into the settings, design, spacing. Again, we're going to click on the little phone icon, which gives us the options for all of them. So the image is going to move with the text, so that's not going to work for us. So we'd have to go into the actual module settings design spacing no. next to the margin we're going to the tablet view
again I think our image is moving with the with the text so it's not the way we want to accomplish that and these boxes are coming over so the image is just completely lost on the table view so instead of trying to make that work I'm gonna go and just see if we can hide the background image Okay, which I think is in the section. So section settings, background, image tab. And we can click on the little mobile icon here. Because we have these little white boxes and then you know the text at the top. So we're just gonna remove the, the image completely. We could add the image underneath just for mobile. So we'll add a new row here. It's full width. And then do an image. Well, second thought, it would be better if we just left it off because then that would make the mobile faster. So we'll just have one less image on the mobile, which is good. Good planning. We've got all the FAQs and we've got the image at the bottom, so that works just fine on the tablet. So back to the desktop to recheck everything one more time. A good place to eat. It looks like this text is wrapping over where it wasn't before. So let's check our font size and spacing on that one. So I see there's padding here. It's at 148. Oh, this is the top and the bottom. So the left is zero. I think we adjusted the size is what happened. So under design, we'll go back to the heading text, title text, H1. Here's the size here on the desktop. If we just drop it down just a little bit, it all gets on one line. And then the shadow on the, the text underneath it is it's a different color. So let's go to our text. Oh, body text. <laughs> Gets me every time. It's under body text instead. Okay, so then the shadow. There should be a body text shadow color. And so on the desktop, we want it to be white. And then the tablet, white is good. And on the mobile, the black is reversed out. All right, so we've reviewed the mobile settings uh, per, pretty thoroughly, and we've got it and the tablet. So now it's mobile compatible, and it should be ready to go. So we're going to save this. I believe we've made it all the changes. So what we'll do is we'll launch this website as is, kind of a soft launch, and then we'll be able to ask the customer to go and review, and we'll make another list of changes, and hopefully we'll be back to, with some more changes unless the customer just loves it and then the website will be live and he'll be able to get started with his business. Uh, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our videos. Place us any comments and if we can help you with anything. Thanks.